Okay, questions for Coach Barnes. Please raise your hand. We'll start with Ryan Kellop here, AZ Desert Swarm. Yeah, Dia, earlier in the week, you know, you were talking about Helena and how she needed to be ready to come in off the bench and, and take shots. And I mean, so what did you just think about the way she played today and how she responded to that? I thought she was really good today. I thought um, she came out aggressive. She came out confident. I know she's been shooting the ball really well in our skill work all week. Um, but that's the Helena. Even if she doesn't hit five threes, her just taking the shots um, is how we need her to play. Without Helena doing what she did in the first in the first quarter, we wouldn't have won the game because she got us going. Then other people started making shots, and we were very stagnant on offense, getting our butts kicked in the first couple of minutes. And I know so you were talking, to, and I know you're talking to us about her need, needing to be ready. But did you talk to her at all about that this week? Yeah, I did. I've, I've been talking to her about it the whole season because <laughs> we need her. She's one of our best shooters. So when games, when people aren't guarding us or sagging off of us because of our quickness, we need her to spread the floor. It helps the post. Um, I expect her and I, I, she has the green light. She's earned that. And so I've just talked in front of the team about her having the green light and how she can't pass up shots because we run action for her to get shots, but tonight she was actually taking them. And what they, all, what they say is always true. You got to take them to make them. You can't make them if you don't take them. So I want her to take them. She's a great shooter. And, and what does it say about your team that, you know, you're able to come off that big win over Oregon and then, yeah, you came out slow today, but you still, you still beat a good Oregon State team pretty easily. Yeah, it, um, it says a lot because, you know, in the past, a year ago, we saw, remember, we beat Stanford, we lost to Cal. So I think that that's a maturity thing. And I think the experience, when you get experience with certain situations, you learn from them and you grow. Um, so we learned last year and we grew. And I think that we also learned some tough lessons this year. And we've um, gotten better through the adversity. We got our butts kicked by Stanford. And then we went and we got a, you know, lost the game in overtime against a good Washington State team. And then we came back and to be able to beat Oregon the way we did and Oregon State at home, it's, it's really good. I think um, because they're both really good teams and they're both different. Um, Oregon State's really tough to play against. Um, they play at a really slow pace. And for us, we want to run. So it's two you know, contrasting styles and it kind of in the game it makes the game feel really long so I'm glad that we were patient um, and Oregon State's good they're really smart they were picking us apart at little you know during certain parts of the game but I like the way that um, our team stuck with it and I thought our defense was solid for half of the game not the whole game for sure next question PJ Brown Arizona Daily Star hi Dia um, hi. so you know where do you what is um, a win like today say about your team. So first of all, you um, you come off a big win and then you win again, right? And then two back-to-back -back games where you've really sort of controlled. Um, you've controlled the game and it, and it, and, it, and you really started, things start, have started coming together for you. What do you think this says right now about you, um... about the team? I mean, we're, we're able to get some home wins. I think we're able to win in different ways against different styles. Um, so I like, and it's very difficult to coach and play against a team that's very scout specific. So like it, it, as a player, when someone's, when you're a competitor and you're a player and someone's not guarding, you're, you're kind of like, you get an ad to like, oh, I'll show them <laughs> like, oh, they want to guard me. And so it baits you into taking shots that Oregon State's wants you to take or that Stanford want us to take. Um, so I think that the way we weathered the storm and we got to action that we wanted to and not take the shots that Oregon State wanted us to, I thought that's a maturity. So we've gotten better because two weeks ago we would have lost or three weeks ago, but I think we've gotten better at being patient at working the ball on the other side. Not, you know, they're passing up open shots, but you're open for a reason. So now we, it's my job for us to work on them and do skill work and shoot the ball and get confidence and get better. But um, I think the players did such a good job of being patient running the offense, executing. It's not stuff we did, you know, the Stanford game. Stanford game, we were super stagnant. Um, I think we just, we're just getting better, but we're not where we need to be, like, at all. Um, but as long as we are, we're improving every week, we're finding different ways to win, um, you know, again, and it's hard to win games like this. The game is slow. Even for me, it was like, oh, it's so slow. Like, we were exciting. We want to play fast. We want to turn you over. And um, so it's, it's, I'm proud of the way we executed when we, need, when we needed to. Next question, Javier Morales, All Sports Tucson. Yeah, Dia, um, how important is it to have a player like Pueo make three pointers uh, to open things up, not only for Aerie, but your inside game? It seems like that's a needed element that she could provide. Yeah. 
It is a needed element, but it's like we need her to be aggressive because she's not going to go 0 for 10 ever. She's a great shooter. So just having her stay aggressive, she's a great player. And she's not only a shooter. She's a, excuse me. <laughs> she's a really good player. She's a great passer. She's good off the dribble. But like her hitting shots opens up the other stuff. We need her to be that because we have other lineups that are really solid defensively, but then we don't have the same scoring. So she enables us to spread the floor give airy lanes to drive. And also, yes, she opens up the post because otherwise what they do is they sit on the post. So I think that her being aggressive and Sam Thomas being aggressive, I thought Sam has been playing really well. I mean, talk about Miss, I always talk about how underrated she is. Um, three for three, you know, she has eight points. Uh, she played awesome defense, no turnovers. I mean, Sam was solid, but Sam and Helena, you got to respect them from the three. You got to guard them. So we're better when they're hitting shots. We just are. We're just a better basketball team. I also want to ask you about Maddie Connor. What I mean, what kind of role will she play this year, just uh, being a freshman that's coming in from uh, from high school? Well, Maddie, the first thing is, um, you know, thank, the, thank her high school coaches for even allowing her to do this because it, it affects their season. In the middle of the season, she just leaves, and then so they don't have their best player, which is tough. So um, Jamal and Jeremy, just great, great guys and a really good job of just allowing us to ha allowing her to have that opportunity. Um, but she's, she's a shooter, um, but she's smart. She's competitive. She's feisty. She's tough. Um, so first initially, obviously she just came from high school. So she's got to learn a system. She's here during the season, but I wanted her to get the experience. It isn't about her going on the floor right away. Um, it's about her going against some really good players in practice every day, learning our system. It's a free year for her. So she just has a chance to travel with us, get better, continue to work on our game when there's so much uncertainty in high school. And so it's, it's a very, it's a huge opportunity for her on a good team, uh, practicing every day. She'll be going against Ben, New, Sam, Ari. I mean, that's a tremendous experience. So she won't be like a freshman next year. And if she can possibly um, help us, that's a plus. But, you know, she's a high school kid coming during a season. So I don't expect her to come in and just start playing significant minutes, obviously. So that's not the goal. The goal is for her to get better, improve, and hopefully maybe in a month we can use her. Um, you know, maybe, but regardless of if we can or can't, she's still getting better earlier and getting like a, she, it's, it's like a half a year of practice with the team. Next question, Jacob Minotti, oh, yeah. Daily Wildcat. Uh, how did you guys uh, game plan for this game? I mean, I can imagine it was a little bit hard to, you know, watch film of a team that hasn't played in a month. I mean, was that hard at all to uh, kind of prepare for a team that hasn't played in so long? It was very difficult. And, and, you know, Scott's a really good coach and, and he runs a lot of different actions. So it's very difficult because we had no idea. We know that traditionally what he's ran the, the five years I've been here, but, but you don't know. And having another month to prepare is hard or being the only team to prepare for that week. That's challenging for us. But um, I thought, I thought we did a good job of handling. And for me, we don't work a ton. We work on other people's stuff, but if a, if a team runs 20 plays, we don't work on all 20 plays. We work on a couple, but we stick to our defensive principles and we'll adjust on certain players for scout specific purposes. So we just stick to our thing. So I thought we defended their actions. Well, I thought our full court pressure, it bothered them. And I thought that, um, you know, different parts of our defense bothered them, but I think that they also picked us apart at some moments. They picked us apart. And some of our on-ball defense, they were getting their way and finding scores, and we weren't able to stop them. So I thought they, they're coached really well, and they did some smart things. But I thought our pressure really bothered them. I mean, they, we forced them into 19 turnovers. Next question, Ryan Callip here, AZ Desert Swarm. Um, yeah, back to Maddie. I mean, what's kind of the, the timeline for her to be able to, you know, start practicing and be, on, be with, um, on the bench during games and stuff like that? Well, she's already on the bench. So she was on the bench today already. She's here. She'll start practicing on Tuesday. Um, so I want to really, I have to give kudos and thank you to our compliance. We have an awesome compliance, like uh, Brent um, Blaylock, he runs our compliance department and he did an incredible job of turning this around so fast. This was like a spur of the moment. Could it happen? Oh, possibly. And then he helped us make it happen. He helped us make it happen. So um, they, if they would have done that, it would have taken longer. She wouldn't have been able to roll in school. So all those things. So she's actually, I mean, she's cleared. She could, she could have played. Well, she couldn't play today because of physical, but it's a holiday Monday. So that's stalling it another day, but she'll be able to practice with us on Tuesday. So she's like all in, she's like ready. Her uniform is coming. She's ready to go. And uh, Stanford lost to Colorado today. I'm just curious where, where, what you think about where you are in the Pac-12 standings right now. 
I have no idea. So I just heard that during the game, but I don't think they wanted to tell me much because I was focused on our game. Um, I'm not sure how that changes things exactly, but well, you're I mean, now a, you're now a game behind Stanford. Yeah. So yeah, because our two losses. I think that um, you know it's funny because it's always an interesting matchup with Colorado and Stanford. It, they, it's always a close game. I don't know what I don't know what it is, um, but it's also very difficult to play in Colorado. I'm glad we're done with that trip. I'm glad we were able to go get a sweep because I do not want to go there again. A couple places I don't want to go. I don't want to go back to the mountains. It's hard to play there especially when it's a, the second game is really tough up there. And I don't want to go back to Washington. Pullman's another really hard place. So Colorado's going to win a lot of games at home. Utah's going to win a lot of games at home. And also Washington State is going to upset a lot of people in Pullman. It's just difficult trips. It's cold. It's, and we're in the desert. We're in the sun. Uh, you know, we're, this is the, the thickest jacket I have. And then you go, the, you go travel. It's a long travel, charter or not. It's just cold. It's different. So uh, those are tough places to play. So I'm not that surprised. And Colorado's a good team. Next question, Kim Doss, Arizona Daily Swarm. Arizona um, Desert. In the past, you've talked about Lauren's uh, footwork. And today, there were a couple times that she had some really good movement against her size. I thought yes. maybe she was going to travel. What did no, you think about her? Why well, she's improving. So she had this move that we work on every day in practice and she actually did it in the game. That's why she was cheering and all excited. Um, she's learning to be more patient. She's learning to be more on balance. She still is not on balance a lot, but she's getting better. Kate's learning to use counter moves. It's stuff that we're working on that they're able to apply. And I think that Kate and Lauren and Trinity, they're improving. They're working hard. Um, I'm happy with Lauren because if you look at her two weeks ago, she's finishing better now. She still has to get stronger, and she is, um, but she's playing a lot better, more poised. I think the timing is something you can teach. That's just something she has, and that's from volleyball, so she's long, and she has great timing. So she had some great blocks today that saved a lot of buckets. But um, I'm proud on offense that she's, she's more patient. She's um, finishing stronger than before, but just continuing to improve it. So in a month, you'll see it improve because we're working at it daily. Next question, David Kelly, KVOA. Hey, dear, you mentioned that jacket. Who inspired the, that looks to kind of like an old school look there. Yeah, this have. is like back in the days. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Uh, this is back in the days when I played, see? The old school logo. I love this logo. It's one of my favorite. A lot of this when I played here at Arizona about just a couple years ago, not that long. Um, so I think it's, I think it's nice. Thanks. Do you guys like the more questions logo? for Coach Barnes? You guys like the old <laughs> logo? I oh, love it. Bring it, back, like it. bring it back to the court. Yeah, we need yeah. it everywhere. <laughs> uh, that's the Dave Hinkie thing, but Dave, Dave actually let us use it. So thank you, Dave, because I love it too. So. All right. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We're going to get started with Lauren Ware, Lauren Ware and Helena Pueyo. First question will go to Kim Doss, AZ Desert Swarm. Um, Helena, when we talked to Adia earlier this week, she kind of challenged you to be ready when you go out there. What has she said to you about that? Yeah, so coach just sent me like be ready to shoot today. They were like uh, playing a lot of zones, so I was just ready to shoot the ball, and that's what I did. I think, <laughs> Do you know. <laughs> Thanks. Next question, Javier Morales, All Sports Tucson. Elena, uh, how would you describe this season for you so far? The last four games you haven't been able to produce, and then today you're able to come up, come out in the first half pretty well. So I think we are like doing a pretty good season. We have to keep like doing this like kind of of games. Um, yeah, I think we're doing a pretty good job, especially what's, this week. So just keep going. What's What's it been like for you, though? How How have you been able to manage this season? For me, I mean, I'm feeling good like this <laughs> season, too. And I'm trying to do my best as a shooter, too. So, yeah, I feel good this season. Next question, PJ Brown, Arizona Daily Star. Hi, Lauren and, and Helena. Um, I, I was kind of wondering, you know, you guys came out and you played your game. I know I know the first couple minutes they went off on the 8-0 run, but the rest of the way you just 
completely controlled the game, sort of like you did last week, uh, the other day against Oregon. What do you think it is now that's sort of coming together for you that, that you're able to, to do this to good teams? Um, I'd say it's definitely our defensive effort. Like we've been practicing a lot. Obviously we work on defense, but just our collective effort, like communicating and just being in the right spot and helping each other out and playing as a team. I think before we were just kind of worrying about our own man, but now we're starting to play more team basketball, especially with our offense is really coming together as well. So I think that's why we've been able to put together such good games lately, especially this weekend against such good teams. So. Next question, David Kelly, KVOA. Hey, first for Lauren. Lauren, just uh, how would you describe the, the suffocating defense that we've really been seeing from you guys the last, say, three, four games? Yeah, um, as Adia would say, that's just Arizona defense. I mean, she really <laughs> – she says that all the time. I mean, Arizona defense, she really harps that on us. Like, in the beginning, I would say we weren't really playing Arizona basketball or defense. But now that we've been working on it and practice and stuff and just coming together as a team, I think that our defense and our pressure has just been amazing. And that's what has made these games so difficult for other teams is just our defense has really kind of carried us through these past couple games. So um, we're just going to keep doing that. And it also just helps us on offense as well. Like when we get stops, we're pushing in transition, getting a lot of transition buckets. So yeah, for sure, our defense yeah. has helped us out a lot. And, and Helena, for you, did you just think that there were better shots for you there today than, than maybe you've had in, in other games? Yeah, I think today was a good game, you know. Um, I think they were, like, looking for me to shot the ball. So that's where I did. <laughs> Next question back to PJ Brown. Hi. Um, Helena, this one's for you. You know, I know that uh, Coach Adia challenged you this week. But was there something else that sort of, I don't know, happened? Because I, I know that in other games, I've seen you and watched you and, and, you know, you're focused on your defense and you really weren't focused on your offense. In this game, you were really looking for your shot. Yeah, I mean, I think like nothing happened just to, I think today I was like coming like good off the bench. And I think it was like hot with my with my shots, so but like nothing happens like you know this week. Next question back to Javier Morales. Lauren, um, what's it like when you see Helena make those three pointers uh, as a teammate, just to loosen things up for you guys? Um, it's amazing. Puyo is an amazing player, and <laughs> she needs to shoot the ball more. Because she, if she just needs to shoot the ball, all of us, we're going to get for the ball. And if she shoots it every time if she misses it, we're not going to get mad. We're just going to tell her to keep shooting because she's an amazing player. And it's awesome to see that her shot is falling because I know she's been working really hard, especially in practice and in skill and stuff like that. So it's just amazing to see that her shot is falling and she's having really good games. So thank you. Next question back to David Kelly. Hey, Lauren, how have you, I, I guess, how would you, classify where you are right now physically I know it appears like you're moving a lot more smoothly now than you were at the beginning of the season like what percentage would you put on where you feel like you are coming off the, the injury yeah um, I'm feeling definitely 100 percent I mean first couple games coming back was a little difficult I think just kind of getting into the groove of things like back how it was before but now that we played a couple games um, I'm feeling really good so yeah and as for Helena just how you know obviously Ari got off to a slow start today with her shot so how was it how important was that for someone like you to to be able to to, to pick up pick up that slack for the team to kind of turn that early deficit yeah I mean I was just trying to like help her she was like looking for me at the so I was like just help her help the the, the team and I think yeah that was good so Next question back to Kim Doss. Lauren, um, I mean, the only thing you could really criticize from the game are the free throws. When you see as a team, you guys are kind of struggling in that area. From a player's perspective, is that mental? What's going on there? Um, I mean, I can't really speak for other people, but I mean, we practice free throws every day in practice. So, I mean, obviously we're going to have some days where they just don't fall, but I mean, we practice them a lot in practice, and I think it's just more repetition, just getting more shots up, and they'll fall the next couple of games, so I think we'll be okay. But 
Next question back to PJ Brown. Yeah, you guys have this big win on Thursday night, a statement win that everybody says it was a statement win. Um, and it was the first time that, you know, you've beaten Oregon in, in quite some time. And then you come back on Sunday and you have another great game. You know, how, what was it like to celebrate that win? And then this time you, you really got back down to business and focused on this game. Because sometimes it's hard when you have such a big win to get back down to business. Um. Yeah, okay. yeah um, it was definitely a quick turnaround. I mean, we talked about it in film, like, obviously, like, we were um, really happy about the win that was on Thursday, just like we praised ourselves or whatever. But then we were like, you know, now we have to prepare for Oregon State. So just coming in, that was kind of our thought process, just like yesterday's over, like now we have to move on to the other team and just stay focused on that because you can't really dwell on the past too much, especially in this conference, because every team that we're going to play is going to give us a really good shot. So I mean, we were really proud with our win, but then just coming in, we just had to be really prepared for Oregon State, and that's what we did. So, okay. Are there any more questions? All right. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Helena. Thanks. Thank you.